All right, so now that the radio is removed, the display is out, and the glove box is out, we're ready to start running our harnesses. Uh, we're going to start with our main power harness here, the MCF NIS-9. I've got the two connectors here, so we'll find those. Um, these two here with the yellow tape, these are going to be for the AC, so just make sure you ignore those and go to these down here. Uh, the first one we'll do is this main power harness. And the second one, we'll have our audio. Other wires there. There we go. And now that those are plugged in, we're going to route them up. Uh, the way we're going to do that is coming up here by the AC vent. You can see this uh, other Luma wire right here. We're going to run it up behind that. And then we're going to go back down into the glove box area. And so now we've got that ran. We're going to go ahead and repeat that with our other harnesses. So we've got our video harness next, the GVNMF. And that'll connect behind the display here. These connectors will fit behind the radio, so make sure you do install it up here. Otherwise, the screen won't work properly. And then this will be hanging since it's going to plug into the display. And we're going to route that on the top here. Follow this other loom. As you can see, we've got it here. And I'm just pulling it straight through to the glove box. the slack here for now but we're gonna zip tie that up later and put it behind the display here uh, the last main harness that you're gonna need is going to be this one the WL NIS USB and that one will actually be taking the slot of this plug here it's got the blue on it so this plug will be left disconnected so we're just gonna tuck that back behind there and we're gonna leave this out and we're gonna route this side to the v-line we're going to go the same way that we did with our main harness, behind here, and then back down into the cloak box. Alright, now that we've got all those ran, uh, we're ready to start putting everything in. Alright, so now that we've got all the cables uh, cable managed, and we've got everything ran to the glove box, we're ready to install the radio, and then the display. So we'll start down here. And again, these ones right here, two that come from the top together that have the yellow tape here. These are for the AC, and those will go into the white box. So you want to make sure you don't plug those in anywhere else. And this one up top here as well will be going to the front panel, so make sure you keep it out of the way. And the blue one here, we will not be reconnecting. We're looking for the brown one, which will be right here. And that'll go into the brown port on the side. And everything else will just fit in its port. This will be one of our connections here. And our other one will be right below it. We don't want to forget our other cable. This one right here, the WL NIS USB. That'll go on the far side. And that should be everything. Just make sure you double check and have all your connectors plugged in. And once that's all plugged in, we can go ahead and connect the AC. And we'll slide this back in place. the pegs up top and at the bottom. There we go. And we're ready to start screwing that in. Alright, so now we're ready for the display. We're plugging in the GVNMF connector in. Make sure you have that behind the display and not behind the radio. We'll plug in the power. 